In our team coverage with News Six's Nadine Giannis, who is live on the new comments from Florida's Education Commissioner and Governor Ron DeSantis. Nadine. Well, Lisa, this is the first time the governor's actually sat in on a Department of Education board meeting ever, and probably because it was a big meeting. They're talking about reopening schools. The governor's saying he wants to keep flexibility for families to decide what option works for them, but believes that one of those options absolutely must be an open classroom with a teacher inside as well as students. And the Secretary of Education and the Commissioner of Education says his order mandating five days a week brick and mortar schools to be open still stands. I know folks are antsy about, you know, what exactly is going to happen? Are we going to be in or not? And by the discussion with state leaders at the Board of Education meeting today, it looks like at least some students will be in school next month. For me, it's more about the risk to the development uh, of our school children. That, that's paramount. Governor Ron DeSantis backing the Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran's order last week mandating all schools brick and mortar will be open five days a week, adding that should be one of many options for families. I think it's important that parents have the ability to make uh, to make a choice if they're not comfortable. The last thing you want to do is, is, is shove people in if they're just not comfortable. Look, we have some parents that really want the kids back in school. They, they, um, uh, they think it's important. One board member on the phone calling for Corcoran to rescind the mandate all schools should be open. Here's the problem. The emergency order focused specifically on all brick and mortar schools shall be open, I'm paraphrasing, for five days unless you get an opt out from the Department of Health or the State Department. That is the problem. That is what caused the confusion. And that is what causes the fear. But Corcoran not backing down. If a parent would like to have their child in a bricks and mortar classroom with a teacher in front of them five days a week, they absolutely should have that option. And it will not come out of the emergency order. But state leaders are stressing that they want districts to offer different plans for families. But as it looks like, school will be in session in person when the school year starts next month. But what about options for teachers? That wasn't really discussed in the meeting today. We're actually going to hear from one teacher who was able to express her concerns in my story at 5 o'clock. Also at 5, the governor is expected to have a news conference. So we'll hear what he has to say this afternoon.